two channels where videos were taken down by YouTube. YouTube. Let me just get that into your head. You You know, every time I see this person's mug, I can't help but see a certain word flare up on that forehead of hers. Truly magical. Susie Lou. I'm sure I don't need to give too much of an introduction because apparently this woman is the one reason that YouTube is going down the drain. Because people have made video after video after video about every little detail about it. Hell, even I made a video that YouTube decided to quash because thanks, Susan. <laughs> But regardless of my thoughts and why I think YouTube is basically garbage at this point... Actually, now that I think about it, that works well with my Susie Lou in the introduction because there's a lot that I didn't talk about in my initial video about this copyright abusing reactor. Mainly because one, so many people have talked about this crazy cat lady in the works to death, and two, most of the stuff that made this interesting didn't happen until after my video came out. Most of you who are watching this are probably well aware of what happened, but for those who don't want to watch multiple videos going over this, well... Susie Lou's past as being a bully has appeared. Your person does that. Like, I, I don't understand. It, it's really weird to me. Like, they must be super insecure with themselves to literally spend all this time, like, obsessing over other people and doing that. Susie Lou's law firm has been shown to be nothing more than a fake. Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? Susie Liu's patron had purged all but one of her reaction videos due to copyright and there might be a lawsuit pending. It's on fire! So essentially the moon's coming down and Susie Liu's party and it's the end of the world as we know it and I feel fun. Or I would if I didn't have this little fear in the back of my head, and it's one that we're talking about today. I know the odds of this happening are probably slim to none, but it's a concern that people who make content relying on media that they didn't create would be something of a bit of a concern. We've already had issues in the past couple years where companies would claim videos based on as little as 3 seconds of footage, or even claiming a video because someone said some song lyrics. Yes, that was a thing that happened. And there was also a really amazing incident recently where Mr. Beast had a video claimed for saying the lyrics to a song with no context to the original song. Let me repeat that. He said the lyrics to a song, coincidentally, without even knowing the song existed, and a company claimed the video for that. Let's face it, corporations are always looking for a way to screw over content creators. And Susie Liu, yeah, if you've ever watched any of her reaction videos... <laughs> Tanjiro's guilty of going against the rules as well. I know, but like, he tried to attack his sister. You're guaranteed to make a mediocre product that no one can relate to. You'll realize she's someone who's been abusing fair use. Hell, it's not even fair use. Reaction videos have always been demonized on this platform, and for good reason. It's considered some of the weakest and cheapest content that you can find on this entire site. And not help is the fact these guys will get tons of views and money because of this. Why do people watch this? <laughs> Hell if I know! Most of the time you'll just have these channels sitting down and react, and I never understood why people need to get a reaction when you can just enjoy the original content, and not have it be shrunk down in the corner and have some nut bar pausing every few seconds going, Ooh, or, Don't go there, girlfriend! Uh-huh! How old did you say you were, Fossil? Regardless, there's a big issue that I have with Susie Liu in particular, and that's due to the fact that she seems to be, for some reason, YouTube's golden girl. Having been in YouTube Rewind, having her disabled channel come back due to calling up her YouTube contact after being struck down for copyright abuse, and by her own word, And YouTube came to me. You see, this right here is a big issue, and not in the way you think. You see, since YouTube is allegedly actively interfering with copyright situations here, as in the case with TV Tokyo, removing the strikes from her channel, YouTube is essentially... The clowning has begun. <laughs> royally. It would not surprise me that if we see a lawsuit being thrown onto YouTube's doorsteps from the Japanese companies in the near future. This is due to the possibility of YouTube violating safe harbor copyright law and putting themselves at risk of legal action. By approving Suzy Liu's appeals against TV Tokyo's DMCA's, Approved! Without giving TV Tokyo the ability or opportunity to pursue legal action, YouTube may have violated safe harbor law. 
And that right there is a bad thing that will more than likely affect the website as a whole. And it'll probably start with people who do anime content. <sighs> Let's face it, YouTube's copyright and claim system is busted as all hell. And that's pretty much what you'd want to deal with instead of dealing with this mess. I'm still cold. I already mentioned a couple examples of this happening in this video, but this is a threat that'll probably get worse. In my original Suzy Lou video, I already expressed a different way as to how copyright holder abuse their power, with the example of Rooster Teeth, and that was how they changed their time claim on my video. Use the blur tool in order to make sure that the footage would be blocked out. Simple, right? <laughs> However, when I did do that, the bot decided to change it into a completely different time frame. And I'm like thinking, what? And no matter what I did, it would always do the same thing again and again. I was almost certain that there was someone at Rooster Teeth who was being evil. If it wasn't for the fact that I pressured YouTube publicly, I wouldn't have had my video back in my hands. But I'm one of the few lucky ones. Tito, in a video he did last year. Despite Alright, uh, hey guys, this is, um, Inferno Plus, like, uh... A month later. Um, I got this uh, really ironically titled email that uh, my video talking about copyright abuse received a copyright claim for showing a reference of PewDiePie singing Despacito. I guess someone or some people over at some company, probably called Sony, got a little butt mad about the video, so uh, yeah, they, they, they tried some shit. Um, I've cut the audio out, so you can go fuck yourselves. So yeah, you can go ahead and release the claim, or it's going to be time for Lawyer Warfare 2019. Um, yeah, thank you, and uh, back to the original video. What I am proposing will happen is because of Suzy Liu, we'll be seeing more and more content being flagged down, either being claimed or struck down with copyright. YouTube system will take down not only audio, but also footage, and I can claim this to be the case because at one point in my Ruby video that I just mentioned, Rooster Teeth tried to claim a scene that was mostly my art with me speaking over shrunken, muted footage of the show. Yeah. I propose that with the threat of lawsuits possibly hanging over their head, YouTube will become even more lax with companies claiming footage or audio from videos. Possibly starting with anime, since that's what the topic concerning Suzy Liu, and since hypothetically, YouTube have violated international law to, in order to protect her. <laughs> this is some kind of twisted joke! Even if it was just one employee who did this, one simple simp, they were still doing so under the moniker of YouTube and YouTube still have to take in responsibility for their employees. Some may see this as fear-mongering from me, but I'm looking at the situation as we've seen from YouTube in the past. Not only have we seen companies outright abuse the copyright system, but we've seen YouTube was willing to throw their creators under the bus. Anyone remember the whole COPPA debacle? Yeah, YouTube was more than willing to throw its creators under the bus in order to save their hides from losing even more money. I have no doubt that they'd loosen restrictions for claims or copyrights just to appease any companies that YouTube might have screwed over in the past. Now I know some people are going to be like, well that's assuming Suzy Liu is telling the truth about her contact. And you're completely right, it's completely possible that Suzy Liu is nothing more than a big fat liar who thinks she's a mega mind. Yeah, this is big brain time. But considering YouTube's odd behavior, YouTube putting her in the 2019 Rewind, YouTube removing the copyright strikes against her channel, YouTube's response to Johnson's tweets, and being massively disingenuous, you can't help but think there's something screwy going on behind the scenes. Again, this is probably me being a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy nut, but hey, we've seen people abuse YouTube systems in the past, we've seen companies take advantage of the current system, and we'll even abuse it to high in hell water. Don't get me wrong, after everything that Suzy Liu has done, she deserves some righteous indignation. But this is a situation that we do need to consider and prepare for ourselves. Because you know what the worst case scenario is? Because YouTube may have violated international law, governments will step in and possibly YouTube will be hit. And hit hard. And you know who will pay for that? The creators. But enough of my tin file hack conspiracies, not like anyone actually watched this and 